Vienna is famous for its classical music, coffee houses, and architecture. And today we're gonna take you on a tour of the 10 best things to do in Vienna, Austria. I'm making my way to Gloriette, which is the lookout point to see the Schönbrunn Palace. From the Gloriette, you can get great views of the palace and also of the city. This 1,441 room palace was the summer home of the Habsburg monarchs. The palace is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the gardens are open daily from 6.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's free to walk around the palace park, but if you want to visit the museums or the inside of the palace, you have to purchase tickets. Prices for the tours range from 22 euros to 61 euros. The next palace that you should definitely check out when you're in Vienna is Belvedere Palace. It's actually made up of two palaces, the Upper Belvedere and the Lower Belvedere. The Upper Belvedere Palace was used as a museum, an imperial residence, and even the place where the Austrian Independence Treaty was signed. Belvedere Palace is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, and the gardens are open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's completely free to walk around the palace gardens, but to enter either the Upper or the Lower Belvedere does require a ticket. A ticket for the Upper Belvedere is 15.9 euros, and a ticket for the Lower Belvedere is 13.9 euros. We also recommend visiting the palace after 2 p.m. because the busiest times are from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you just want to explore the gardens, it will take about an hour, but to explore the gardens and both the Upper and Lower Belvedere will take a few hours. Because the weather is so nice today, spring is finally here. People are outside enjoying the park, sitting on benches, taking a little nap. It's so beautiful at Belvedere Palace. The next place to visit in Vienna is Karlsplatz or Charles Square. It's one of the largest squares in Vienna and it's located right off of Vienna's Ring Road. I'm in Karlsplatz right now and the church behind me is called St. Charles Church. The church was built to celebrate the ending of the plague in Vienna. It's a Baroque church that can be found on the south side of Karlsplatz. Throughout the year, the church hosts classical concerts. It also hosts the Karlsplatz Christmas Market. The church is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it costs 8 euros to visit the inside. Touring the church will take about one to two hours. Behind me is the Vienna State Opera House. The Vienna State Opera is one of the top opera houses in the world. It's also the home of the Vienna Ballet and it hosts the yearly Vienna Opera Ball. If you wanna check out the inside of the opera house, you can do one of the daily tours that cost 12 euros. The tour lasts about 40 minutes. Number five on our list of things to do in Vienna is to visit the Hofburg Palace. It is one of the largest palace complexes in the world. It was once the winter residence of the Habsburgs and now it's home to the Austrian president. When you visit the Hofburg, there's so much to see. It's free to walk around the grounds, but to tour the inside requires a ticket. Vienna City Hall is a Gothic style building that is located in Rathausplatz. In front of the City Hall, you'll find Rathaus Park. It's used year round for events like concerts and markets. The apartment building behind me is from the 1700s and it's where Mozart once lived and where he composed. If you want to take a tour of Mozart's old apartment, it costs 12 euros. St. Stephen's Cathedral is a Vienna landmark. It's located in Stephenplatz and with its colorful tiled roof, it's often seen as a symbol of Vienna. The cathedral is open for tours on Monday to Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11.30 and then from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Entrance into the cathedral is free, but there are certain areas of the church that do require a ticket. 
For 20 euros, you get an all-inclusive ticket that includes an audio guide, a catacomb tour, and a visit to the North and South Towers. Hundert Wasser House is a colorful apartment complex that is one of Vienna's most visited buildings. The house is so unique. It's got all different kinds of colors. I can see all kinds of trees and green plants. It's definitely something to check out if you're in Vienna. If you're in Vienna, you have to check out Prater Amusement Park. It's the oldest amusement park in the world and it has a Ferris wheel from 1897. The park is open daily from 11 a.m. to midnight. Entrance inside the park is free, but you have to pay for each ride. Most of the rides cost between 1 euro and 6 euros. The Ferris wheel is 13.5 euros. If you're looking for things to eat in Vienna, be sure to check out our Vienna Food Guide, where we take you around Vienna to try seven of Vienna's must-try foods. Thank you so much for watching our Vienna tour. We hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. We have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us.